Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Relics, and today we are going to continue our Fire Emblem Radiant Dawn Hard Mode Iron Man run after the map. Goldoa, the land of dragons, lies secluded in the southwestern corner of Tellius. No foreigner, Laguz or Bjork, is permitted within its borders. The Alliance emerges from the lava tubes and into Goldoa by accident. The Dragon King, Degincia, is displeased by this trespass. However, Ike's former companions, Nasir and Ina, appeal to Degincia to allow the passage of the Laguz Alliance. Raisin's actions during the last war earn them the grudging respect of King Degincia, who allows them safe passage. Meanwhile, Benyan calls off its pursuit of the Alliance and finds its passage into Gallia blocked by the nation's great mountains and deep forests. The Central Army's momentum breaks upon these obstacles like an ocean wave against solid rock. Senator Valtome arrives to take command of the Central Army. He orders Zelgius to march on to Gallia by way of Crimea. Observing diplomatic protocol, Valtome petitions the Queen for passage, as well as supplies and additional troops. Queen Alincia, however, goes against the wishes of the Crimean nobles and resolutely denies each of Valtome's requests. Her reply enrages Valtome, who sees Crimea as little more than a vassal of the Empire. Ignoring Zelgius's counsel, Valtome orders his army to enter Crimea and take whatever they need from the villages along the way. Okay, cool. Chapter 9, Marauders. Castle Crimea. Your Majesty, the Banyan army has crossed the border. They are seizing food and supplies and calling it tribute to the Empire. There are no casualties yet, but they are acting like bandits. I see. So, they simply ignored me. What shall I tell the troops, Your Majesty? Order the Royal Knights to mobilize, ride out, and advise Benyon to withdraw. If they do not comply, I approve the use of force to remove them from our lands. But your majesty, this is the Benyon army we are talking about. It would be unwise to provoke them. I had hoped to avoid this situation, but the Empire's attempts to strong arm our people shall not go unanswered. Deploying the Royal Knights is the only way to protect our borders from incursion. However, I remain open to suggestions. Do you have an alternate plan of action, Lord Sauron? Uh, no, please forgive my impudence. Your Majesty is quite right. I am glad we are in agreement, Lord Sauron. This whole situation disturbs me greatly. I wonder, what is happening to the Empire? I doubt that the Apostle would allow this sort of thing to happen. We should prepare for the worst. I fear something horrible must be happening with ben within Benyon. <coughs> Excuse me. Alright, so we got some info. I am missing one because Khalil is dead. And it specifically is, or would have been titled, Khalil's Shop. So that's very unfortunate. But, uh, it, unfortunately it doesn't matter because uh, uh, she wasn't going to give me anything anyways. So, sorry Khalil, I do apologize that you got killed. You can blame the Crimean Knights for not attacking correctly. <laughs> hey, did you hear? The Imperial Army is requesting Crimea's assistance. Yeah, I heard. I heard that the messenger treated our queen with no respect at all. Who do they think they are? Shh, not so loud. Benyon is ruled by the Apostle. They helped us when they invaded. It's only right that we paid back the favor by coming to their aid. But Benyon is fighting with the Beast Tribes of Gallia. Why would we fight Gallia? The Beast Tribes helped us rebuild Crimea. That's true, but come on, think about it. Who would, who would you rather side with? A land of Bjork or the land of sub... Laguz? The answer is plain as day. We side with Bjork. Hmm... You have a point. I choose Gallia over Benyon. Really? But why? The people of Gallia helped us rebuild the village, even though we're Bjork. They even repaired the road to the farm that's up there on the mountain. That wasn't an easy job either. Yes, I remember. What was his name? Mordecai. He was strong, yet very kind. He looked frightening at first, but the children in the village loved to play with him. He was a wonderful man. If the queen decides to answer Benyon's request for troops, we'd have to fight Gallia. How terrible would that be? That's war, isn't it? Yes, I suppose it is at that. Hmm. Wish we didn't have to fight anyone at all. 
Lucia. Joffrey, please take this with you. Why? This is a master crown. I am honored, Your Majesty. I will cherish it. I have been asking you to fight difficult battles against terrible odds. Your Majesty, allow me to re reiterate. That is exactly what I wish. No matter, what, no matter the task, no matter the odds, I can only succeed at, at it as long as you depend on me. I am yours entirely, Your Majesty. I should take those words to heart. Joffrey of Delray, you are truly my finest and most faithful knight. Thank you, Your Majesty. Uh, my boy. Lucia! Here are the war funds. Remember, Joffrey, you will face the Imperial Army. Should there be a conflict, you must not be caught unprepared. I shall be prepared, Lucia. Oh, that was a short, that was a very short conversation. Okay, cool. Uh, no supports. Skills. Uh, don't think we need to remove anything, right? Yeah. So, let's take a look at the shop. I don't think I'll really need anything here either. There's an adept scroll. That's actually kind of cool. I also get this daemon card. 12 attack. <laughs> okay. So, we are reunited with our Crimean Knights. Joffrey, Marcia, Danvid, Kieran, Astrid, and Makalov. Obviously, if you guys have been watching me thus far, you know I'm not, I'm not a fan of Danvid, Makalov, and Astrid was iffy. Um, I can't honestly remember if she leveled okay. I think she did. I think she leveled, like, what, a couple times I were okay, if I remember. But overall, it's not like she's required, because I do have archers already um, in Leonardo, uh, Shinon, and Rolf. So having Astrid is not a requirement. Not to mention, I don't know if this is true, because I've never ever used Astrid before in this game. But she should become a sword paladin, right? Or a, a bow and sword user. You know, when she transforms into her next class, which won't be very useful. If I'm wrong, then then that's great, actually, because swords would suck. So, um, if that is the case, that'd be amazing. But, however, she is low level, so don't know if that's going to work out. Joffrey does come with uh, Paragon as well, so both Joffrey and Astrid have Paragon. We could remove Astrid's Paragon and give it to, like, Marcia. And she'll level faster. In fact, I can even give one to Kieran as well. Uh, he's not too bad himself. To me, the biggest thing is giving it to Marcia because I do like using Pegasus Knights. If you guys followed me throughout all my other Fire Emblem runs, I like the Pegasus Knights a lot. Um, obviously, Path of Radiance didn't go so well, but in general, I am a very fond, you know, lover of Pegasus Knights. So. In general, I will be using them. So it would be nice if I would just maybe just skip out on Astrid and just give it to Marcia, perhaps. Or even take Joffrey's. Because in the end, Joffrey's not going to be as super useful as well. He's okay right now, though. Let's start doing some stuff here, though. Um, honestly, he's actually prepared to, to use everything he has now. And then... Let's see. Let's get rid of these things first. Okay, right. so let's see. Marcia, I don't need the horse slayer. I don't think Are there are horses here. There are, I think, a few, uh, but I don't think she will be involved with them. So um, there is nothing else she can really use here. So I could give her like how much strength does she have? She has 18 strength, so she will not be weighed down even by the silver great lance. The only thing that will hinder her would be the hit rate. This thing's got 80, the Steel Lance, and I have 133 hit now. And then if I use this one, that's minus 30. That's only 100 hit rate, basically, right? So 100%. If any of the enemies have at least 50 avoidability, then I'm not going to hit them. That's crazy. What am I? Am I best or am I worst? I'm in the middle. So you guys can see that. I will probably not be able to use the Silver Great Lance effectively, therefore I should use something else. Alright, so we will buy a couple more weapons for you then, to see if you can uh, do a bit better. In fact, get rid of the other javelin perhaps? Oh, actually, no, that's okay, you can keep it. Um, so we will buy Marcia another lance, because she's going to use lance, right? Oh, she can use swords too. Wait, did I have a sword that I can use? 
No. Okay, not good against knights necessarily. Um, Kieran, he should be okay. Yeah, he should be fine as is. That's totally fine. Let's see what's in the armory. Basically, every sword we can ask for, and or every uh, common weapon we can ask for. Perfect. So. Um, that being said, I guess I'll give uh, Marcia a Steel Great Lance. That way she can do damage. As for Astrid, I don't think I will end up using her. I don't. I just don't think there's any point. So I am going to remove her uh, Paragon. I am still going to keep Joffrey's on because in the end, he is still the main unit. He is the only one who can, who cannot die on this chapter. Everyone else can die, but Joffrey can she cannot die. So I do want to see if he can level up a little bit better. Not to mention we do use him later on, and I still I think he is still a requirement. So sorry, Astrid, you get the short end of the stick again. All right, so Marcia gets that. We also have nullify and discipline. Nullify. Cancels enemy bonuses. Mm, I don't think that actually applies to me in any situation here. Yeah, I don't think it actually applies to me. Anyone need the discipline? Not really, right? Yeah, we're, so we're good. Alright, so yeah, we'll just uh, go with that. So while I'm not going to be using Astrid entirely, I am still going to, to deploy her because she may be useful for us. <coughs> but I think that's it. Uh, let me save just in case I don't get to save. I should be able to though. Crimea, near the Benyon border. Are, your, are you layabouts done collecting supplies? We don't have all day. No. Sir, progress is slow. These people just don't have much. Something about an uprising earlier. Fools! I don't want excuses. Take anything you see. And if these bumpkins complain at all, cut them down. Because you can bet your armor that the Senator Valtome will do the same to us if we're not done by the time he arrives. Reporting, sir. Crimean army is approaching from the southwest. It seems to be the Royal Knights. What? Crimea is moving against us? Those backwater fools. Alright, keep working. I'll take several men out to slow their approach. Colonial fools, I'll teach them what it means to defy the Empire. General Joffrey, we've confirmed the presence of Benyon army in the village ahead of us. I prefer to avoid a fight, but I suppose that decision is up to them. Let's hurry. Alright. So, we do get a couple Crimean knights along with us. Ooh, nice, they got still great lances. That's actually really good. Okay, cool. And one bishop to heal us, which he will most likely die really fast. Um, no horses, actually. So, yeah. I thought there were horses. I guess I was wrong. There might be a couple that maybe spawn, like, over here, maybe? I'm not sure. But, in general, we have a pretty difficult map here. Uh, we need to... The objective is not to actually uh, save the houses. Um... In fact, all the houses I think can burn and we'll still, uh, we will still win. Our objective is to defeat the boss, so there's that. Um, we do get bonus EXP for each house that is saved. And for each house that is burned in the process, you minus about, what is that, temper you minus 90% of the bonus EXP, so this house here is not burned that is 500 bonus exp but if it were to catch fire it would become 50. how fun in any case um there is only one item of you know importance here and that is a spirit dust that is behind the boss right here in the staircase um honestly i was like we were to say how do i get it oh marcia or i kill the boss and then i cancel onto that spot those are the only two ways to get it so it's kind of a chance. I'm not sure if it's going to work out, but we'll see. Other clear turn, uh, the clear turn bonus is 10 turns, but I highly doubt that's going to work out for us. So, as you guys can see, there's quite a bit of units here. A uh, good variety. 
I'm gonna have Marcia go this way. Oops, go this way. Uh, Khalil would be in this spot if she was still alive. Unfortunately, she is not. So I will have Marcia start by going this way. I do not believe all the units move, but we do need to be careful because there are archers. But I need Joffrey and Kieran to go to the right and just charge at these enemies. Since our paladins can't actually climb this section, so I'll have I'll have my guys in anyways to act as extras, but they will not be required to fight. If anything, they'll be dummies. But I don't care if they die. Which will be sad, right? Sad if I let them die. Alright, so how do we got? A full hit. If I bring him down to 9 HP, which is perfect, I do. So Astrid's starting to be... Starting off very useful. Cannot double this guy, but that's okay. Um, if he attacks me, I will be able to kill him on my next turn, so that's perfectly fine by me. Hmm. Now, over here, let's see. This archer only has a steel bow. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Alright, so I could attack the soldiers and sword masters, and I don't have to worry. These guys do have a crit rate against me, so I do need to watch out for that. Too bad I don't have one extra strength, so I could just kill them in two hits. Both of them would have been killed in two hits at that rate, so it's unfortunate. What about this guy? I can kill you in two hits, but then this guy will move in too. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah. So it just depends on whether or not everyone moves. Since this guy, since these guys don't have range, what I could do is use a javelin, attack the soldier, and then fly down here and engage with the uh, swordmaster. I think that will be the play to start. That way, I can kill this guy from range to begin with, just like that. Then we can come over here too and help block. Crimean soldiers, how dare you turn your weapons against us? You will pay for this betrayal. Men, burn these shanties down to the ground. Show these fools what we do to traitors. So unfortunately, some of these houses, you can't prevent them from being destroyed. Or at least burned. But you can't put them out. So that's what we're going to try to do. Joffrey gets his first level. That is not what I was looking for, that's for sure. It's very unfortunate, in fact. And that's another thing. I think this soldier style units. Oops. Monsters, they're burning the villages. Um, I think only the soldier styles, like these guys, or like these guys, can, are the only ones who can actually burn the houses. I don't think how bird yours can. Just a quick note. I think that's how it works. All right, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so I can't run back. Okay. This guy's got 23, so he can't double. That's good. So I was I could kill the soldier and then run back. We'll see if the halberdier moves into position. And then Damage can go right here. Alright, over here, uh, Kieran needs to kill this guy. Perfect. Nice hit. And I could actually move up. I'm gonna go right here. No, 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 I'm not gonna go right here. We want the Crimean Knight to attack the Archer for us. See, if I could kill you, I could go in range of that general. We'll test and see if he actually moves into to attack us. If he does, that's actually great, because then that means we can draw him in closer. So I'm 
put Mackle off here. I'm gonna use Astra to shoot from range. Nice hit. Now, everyone else should move in and attack as well. And put out the house. <laughs> Okay. I wonder if they need double the soldier? You do not. Okay, that's unfortunate. Oh, thanks for the healing. Very useful. Because like I said, the bishop's going to die. Oof. Miss? Not the time to miss. Missed again. Holy crap. That's crazy. Oh, wow. That's not fair. Not cool. My allies in this run are always getting critical. Not cool. So I was right, the Halberdier does move. Just fine, because we actually double him and we get to kill him and we dodge. So that's really nice. Uh, this guy did what? 10 damage to me. So he can kill me if he gets a crit, which is 3% off. So not bad. But like I said, I don't really care if damage lives or dies, so it's not a big deal. But... Um, we would like to save the houses if we can. Not required, though. We'll see. Um, let me figure things out. Astrid, can you kill this guy? The general, by the way, did not move, so that's something to keep in mind. One, two... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I can move back. Perfect. Actually, get this kill. Since my guys are missing. Alright. Can we kill the archer? Yes. Perfect kill, in fact. I missed. 80% I missed. Okay. Never mind. Not getting the kill. This archer is elusive, that's for sure. Here, attack Makalov. Because <laughs> I don't want my Crimean Knights dying just yet. Um, so what I could do is I could uh, kill this guy and leave Danved here. Or I can move Danved down, kill here, and then move down and fight here. Oh, you know what? I can move here. None of them can attack down, so if I move here, they should probably move right here, and I could start throwing javelins at their faces. That actually would be good. So I don't have to worry about anything else. And I could get the house in my next turn as well. Okay, not horrible, but not the best. I wouldn't like strength. So the soldiers don't look like they want to go out of their way to attack, so we... Okay, so there's reinforcements, and these guys are the guys who will get the bishop killed. I didn't think they were going to spawn this fast, so in fact, Danvid's probably going to die too. <laughs> Unfortunately, I did not see that coming. How about you? How about... 14? So I won't be able to kill you indefinitely, for sure. Very unfortunate. And if they get up... We're screwed, so that's not good. Alright, so Bishop's dead. Danved is most likely dead. Oh man, why did we have to miss so much? I'm gonna kill you. Maclaw's gonna block the pathway so that soldier can't go up there. can't double you, so... I'll put the house out myself. So, uh, this guy's here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You attack me there. It's his crit. 
21. So he almost, he could crit, crit me, but 26, uh, what was that? 8? He won't kill me. I am going down though, so that's not good. I'll still take the chance, so let's extinguish this. I'm gonna sit still. The Swordmaster should go after me. Wow, I am just missing with everyone. That's not good. We're gonna die at this rate. That being said, I'm just gonna continue attacking here. I don't think there's anything else I can really do now. Yeah, there's nothing else I can do. Alright. Alright. Danved's dead. Bishop's dead. And that's that. You went on a healing bush and used a vulnerable. Dude. Pathetic. up as well. Get a little skill, huh? Everything but skill. That's good, though. <laughs> Ouch. Bishop's dead. And here comes Dan Vid's final moments. Nice dodge. Unless you can dodge the entire map. Which would be pretty insane if you could. Because I killed this guy, I can move Danved up. Haha. <laughs> uh -huh. Funny enough. He killed 32. That's 16. Yeah, they should be able to kill, but he probably won't attack him. I don't know. If he goes for the kill, that'd be great. Now double this guy. He's a different soldier, that's why. Let's kill him. Alright, that way we don't have to worry about the soldiers going after the houses. Guess I'll sit there. One, two, three, four, five, six, six, seven. So I will be in range. We should attack Makalov if I do that. You guys have no. Well, he does have a short spear though. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I can't reach anyway. So I better just sit there. Oh, nope, that's not what you're supposed to do, buddy. You're supposed to attack the Swordmaster. Why would you do that? Why would you do that? You're getting yourself killed. You fool. <laughs> fool. Foolish Crimean freaking paladins, man. I think that house is going to die this turn, right? So yeah, the house died this turn, unfortunately. I don't care. Not a big deal to me. Well, let's kill this guy. I have 17 defense. This guy's got... 16 attack on me. So he has perfect amount. Okay, so I gotta sit here and wait. I gotta heal. So Danva is actually doing pretty good. Uh, this may be the end for Makalov, unless I block. These Crimean Knights got me killed, that's for sure. 
So I gotta move over here. I gotta kill this guy. Which is not easy to do. I had a feeling I was gonna miss. So that means Karen has to hit or someone might die. Stupid Crimean Knights, man. So now I run the risk of losing Kirin right now. Stupid Crimean Knights. I don't know what they were thinking. Alright, let's see what happens. Because I know they're going to come heal, so... Oh! That one decided to do what he was supposed to do the first time and attack the, the Swordmaster. How convenient. Does he not have a vulnerary? In which he could have traded his partner for it. So that's kind of weird. Again, Crimean Knights, they're their most weird algorithm NPC ever. Like, I don't know how to control them. They're just stupid. So another soldier spawned. There's nothing I can do to get to him right now. He does have a vulnerary. So he could have healed, but surprisingly he killed the Swordmaster for us. He actually did what he was supposed to do the other turn. Oh boy, I'm in a tight situation though. I Brave Lance this guy should be able to kill him with one of the Crimeans. And then Kieran can kill this one. Should. Good dodge. Definitely need all the dodges I can get right now. Alright, so if I kill this one. Crimean Knight that's healthy right now should go after that other soldier. Alright. This one should heal. Good. Alright. More soldiers. Alright, that's not good. It is now the eighth turn. Obviously, there is no way we're getting to the boss in two turns, so that's definitely not going to happen. I could just use the Brave Lance up, but I think we'll wait here. Joffrey will take the brunt of these guys. Just have cure and wait as well. Save six, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. So they can't even reach the houses. Um, if I go here, I wonder if the archer will attack me. Damn, this is risky here because I can't attack into him. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Can't reach me though, so that's good. What is that? 14. So that's 23. Still won't have enough to kill him. So yeah, I'll just attack here with the Steel Lance then. Dodge. 
Level up. Okay. I like the skill, that's good. Not good enough though, we need more stats here. I wonder if that Halberdier is going to come down here. He does, okay. Someone else we need to kill now. Good dodge, Joffrey. Kills him. Not using the Brave Lance. Danvid finally got hit. Incredible that he's still alive to this point. Damn. Only one attack, okay. Alright, so Marcia can kill this soldier this turn. Hopefully. Oh my god, there's more guys! Okay. Alright, so kill him. Good dodge. What do we got here? Seven, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Can't go down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Can't really do anything though. Um, we'll just go right here, perhaps. So I could get the house and then run back down. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Great. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Can't get down. You should be able to get down. Just go right here. Uh, Danvid, good job. Asteroid will take over. Wow, he has a 1% crit chance. I highly doubt he will get that, because if he does, that's complete BS. Probably shouldn't have attacked just in case he did get it. And he hit me, by the way. What the heck is that? How'd you hit me? <laughs> Unbelievable. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Shoot me at the stairs, but I'll be attacked by a lot of guys. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Shoot me right here. Unfortunately, my soldiers will die here. That's okay. Nice dodge, nice, you stay alive. Nice dodge. Although you're not hitting, so that sucks. Nice. So clearly you got hit that first one. More Halberiers, my goodness. My goodness. So this guy didn't move, interestingly enough. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so I should be safe to go down there then. Oh, I'm supposed to get the house. I'm such an idiot. <laughs> I'm so stupid. This is the scary part. I don't know who is going to move and who's not going to move, right? I 
chances of me dying is just so high. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. I'll be in range of the archer, as well as everyone else. But they didn't seem to move. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Yeah, he'll hit me. Only one space closer. And everyone can attack me, including this archer. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Oh. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Oh, never mind. He was going to shoot right here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Well, I'm not full health, too. How much damage do you do? 11. Oh my god, 29. And then there's that guy, too. He can't really hit me. I should be fine then to do that, right? Like that. And then, heck, I could put here in here, maybe even. I got my same defense, but I have more HP too, so I should be okay then. Right? I could do this. Let's just see who moves, I guess. Why don't you guys just stay on the bush? That way you guys have extra void. Like my paladins are doing some work here. He's getting hit a lot. Here's the archer. Oh, what the? Ooh, it's a good thing I dodged. I didn't expect a wind edge. Very unexpected. Ow. Nice dodge. Alright, tell me no one else moves right now. <laughs> Where are you going? Oh god, that guy moved too. Oh my goodness. They all apparently moved, so holy crap. Wow, we need to get out of here. Okay. Alright, get this house. Going, Archer. This guy's in range, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Or seven, right here. Yeah, so he can shoot me here. But I should be able to move back one space. Yes. So he can't reach me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Perfect. And then you take his her spot there. Um, I may need to sacrifice Denvid. Because these guys moved a lot more than I thought they would. And I cannot kill any of them this turn. Not good. I cannot kill any of them. That's crazy. Alright, so Denvid. Perhaps go right here. Because he has a uh, 95 avoidability on this. These things. Thickets. Alright, the rest of us we retreat. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We go all the way over here. We can still attack. This is not looking so good. Good kill, good kill, guys. Hang in there.
Oh, Danved's dead right here. In this world, there's no place for joy or laughter. Sorry, Danved, but you're a good body. Good job. Could try and rescue the house, but then these guys will most likely all attack me, so I'm probably gonna die if I, that happens. My objective is not to rescue the houses, it is to survive. Unfortunately. So we can kill Joffrey here. The last thing I need right now is misses, that's for sure. I'm at my worst, so that's not good. Um, if I go right here, I should be okay. Maybe I need to sacri sacrifice Makalov too. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. What do I do? I need to start trying to kill this guy. might move away, which should be okay. Alright, one help already in the middle should head to the right. Yes, he does. God, I need my Crimeans to hit these guys. I really need to start hitting them. As I expected, Joffrey would get hit by the Archer. Maybe even the Swordmaster? Yep. Right, so that guy did move. Which I could use Marcia to kill him. 100%. Marcia, can you also hit this guy without dying? Yes, technically. But if I miss this guy, then I get really damage. I'll use Steel Lance. Alright. So Marcia can take on this the Swordmaster. Take that place there. Or you don't have to actually just do this maybe. Or we try and kill these guys. Let's see how good is Astrid here. Dies and dies. Okay so you, know you do this. We need to kill one of these guys, holy crap. This guy's stronger, but... Can't hit, guaranteed, and kill him. Not good. Are you good right now? 81 to Void, you have more than Joffrey. Maybe I can use Makalov as a decoy. Of course I missed. Why wouldn't I miss? It's terrible. If I hit, I would have leveled. I am at my absolute worst right now. Alright, so Makalov here actually has 91 avoidability. It's actually really good. We might be able to survive this. These guys should attack him. Which means I can... Hit these guys. Although... Does that mean they would go after Kieran? Hmm. That means I should use this here. I mean, this archer is the biggest problem. 
Hang in there, Crimeans. You guys can do it. Just stay on the bush. That's all you gotta do is stay on the bush. Hit, 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 please. Oh my god. They suck. They're so bad. Okay. Good. Good job, Maclov. You're doing something. Good dodge. Good dodge. Nice, 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 nice. Alright, you're dead. Oh, well, for Marcy, uh... Strength and defense. Okay, cool. Um... I don't know if I can take both on. 18 defense. Look at that 11 right there. A little less. How much do I have? I have 40. Oh, I could take on both then. Never mind. You go help the Crimeans. Over here. We should be able to kill him now. Bam. matters. One, two, three, four, five, six. Not even sure, to be honest. Eh. Well, I was supposed to trade the hand axe, that's okay. I can't believe my guys can't hit them. Like, that's so insane. Like, they're not even coming close. Whack. Nice. Why is that house still on fire? Has it really been... I thought it was more than three turns by now. At least it feels like it. Joffrey levels up. Nice! Lovely. Uh, this guy should not double you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I hate that this one paladin keeps healing himself with a vulnerary, which recovers 20 HP. Vulnerary recovers 20 HP and he keeps healing himself with it for 8. 8! It's so stupid. Why is he doing that? Really annoying. There's the house. Alright, so we got three houses. We kept three houses alive. That's actually really good, in my opinion. Oh, my steel hands, bro. I was like, wait, what happened? <laughs> okay, that makes sense. Can't kill. Who's, Who's this guy got? Steel sword? He should be able to come down unless he doesn't move at all. I can't believe how much you guys miss, man. 
it's incredible. He's running. That's really interesting. I should be able to get this kill. Huh. Alright, cool. At least I get the kill. Easy. Alright, smooth sailing from here. This guy does not move, interestingly enough. That being said, these guys didn't seem like they wanted to move either. I'm going to use Kieran here to see if they will move at all. If they do, great. If they don't want to, then... Okay, we'll see what happens after that. Soldier moved. Ouch. This guy moved. Nice dodge. That guy did not move. Okay, perfect. One short. Of course I am. Dodge it. <laughs> Alright. Cool. Marcia, you get this. I want the double EXP. You get this kill. Whee! Level up. Ooh, my greed got the better of me, huh? So these guys do not move whatsoever. All right. That being said, just here, target the bush. Go heal if you want. So I will eventually kill you with you. These guys are so strong. It's crazy. I missed. Of course I did. Why? Why do I miss so much? This chapter. Crazy. Steel Ants. Nice. First 14. Steel Ants is 4 less, right? So that's 5-5. Five, five. Not enough to kill him. Okay. Astrid, can you possibly hit this guy? No. Okay. Just making sure. Okay. Never mind. Um, Kieran? Perhaps? Yes. You can help me chip. I don't want to use all my lances up. Or uh, my still great lance up. Nice. Alright, all that's left is the boss. Oh my god, he has a crit chance against us. Why is that a thing? Why is that a thing? What the heck? What the heck? Wait, it's my brave lance. Oh my gosh, what the heck? What's this? What's crit? 22? What the heck? Watch him get a crit with that low percentage, man. What kind of crap is this? No one can survive him if he gets a crit on them. Incredible. What? I don't like that, man. I really don't like that. 
Oh, but not from range. Or is it because I'm next to these guys? Dog of Crimea, I'll crush you! Okay, well, as long as he doesn't have a crit, that's all that matters, right? So Karen can actually do this for now. Ouch. Okay. And I can guarantee the kill, but let's see. I am not at my best. Is he going down? He's at his best. Uh, I'm gonna wait. <laughs> this is cheesing it a little bit, but I'm gonna wait till our things switch. That way I can guarantee the kill. Like that. Alright, so... Five, six, seven, eight. So I do believe if I use a vulnerary, I have a chance to find the item. No. No, it does not work that way. All right, Joffrey has the best chance. He has max skill. So if I kill this guy and I go onto that spot, I should be able to try to find it. I am Joffrey, the commander of the Crimean Royal Knights. Do you command these men? Knight of Crimea, you are clearly guilty of treason against the Venyon Empire. Do you understand what it means to send an army against us? You've just killed your people. You have been warned. Queen Lindsay will not accept any further acts of violence or banditry within our borders. Withdraw your troops immediately, or I cannot guarantee your safe return. Decide quickly. How dare you take that tone with me? I'll put you in your place. Goodbye. <laughs> the Empire will not forget this. Once our main force arrives, they will slaughter you like cattle. And Joffrey also levels. Nice. Not good though. That sucks. Alright, so you should be right here. I got it! Yes! Perfect. Good. The enemy is retreating. Knights, stay here and help fix the damage done to this village. Yes. Alright. Good work, Joffrey. You sent them running. Lucia, what are you doing here? I'm here to protect Her Majesty. Superb work, Joffrey. You have my thanks. Your Majesty, forgive me. I could not avoid a confrontation with the Imperial Army. It wasn't your fault, Joffrey. However, I'm afraid our situation continues to deteriorate. Lucia, I point you as envoy to negotiate a treaty with the commander of the Imperial Army. They might be willing to listen now. I shall leave immediately, Your Majesty. Senator Valtomi, I sincerely regret to have having to meet under these circumstances. Oh, I completely agree, Your Majesty. I never dreamed we'd suffer so much mistreatment from our allies. So you've decided that Crimea will side with Gallia and honor the alliance with those filthy subhumans over ours? As I've said before, Crimea remains neutral. Crimea will side with neither Benyon nor the Lagoon's alliance. That is my final answer. Ah, then please enlighten me. Why prevent us from getting what we need? Benyon is your suzerain. You should be delighted to comply with our request for supplies. But instead, you launched an ambush and inflicted horrible pain on us, your loving guardians. Now Benyon is a patient parent. But I do hope you realize that your actions thus far have amounted to treason and sedition. You have violated our borders, stolen from my people, and inflicted harm upon them. I will not allow such actions within my lands, no matter who the aggressor may be. How quaint. Whee <laughs> your majesty, do you know what the penalties are for the crimes you've committed? I can only assume you do not, or you would not so rashly endanger your life. But don't worry, Queen Alencia. Once Benyon has your crown, along with your head, removed for treason, I'm sure we will take very good care of your people. Senator Valtomi, I think after this has settled, I'll place my portrait right over your throne. Mm-hmm. It was a pleasure chatting with you, Your Majesty. I am leaving now. She's all yours, General. Your Majesty, please forgive my superior officer's insolence. Wait, I recognize you. You came to our aid some time ago, during the Mad King's War. General Zelgis, wasn't it? Yes, Your Majesty. This is the second time I've had the honor of seeing you. I sincerely apologize for my army's actions during the resupply operation. Please forgive us. 
The Banyan Empire and the Apostle gave us much support in our reconstruction effort. Crimea will always appreciate Banyan's generosity. However, Crimea and Gallia are allies. As such, we cannot take a side in this quarrel. Please understand. I understand, Your Majesty. Our forces will refrain from levying supplies while in Crimea. Oh, thank you for your understanding. However, I must ask you to agree on these two points. First, the Imperial Army shall be given leave to pass through Crimea toward Gallia. Second, we shall be allowed to engage the Gallian army in towns near the Crimean Gallia border. Excuse me? This peace talk is meaningless. You will still do battle and spill blood within our borders? I'm afraid this is the best I can offer. It's sometimes necessary to cut your losses for the greater good. Please think on it. Tomorrow, my army will begin marching towards Gallia. If the Crimean army does not interfere, I will take it as a sign of agreement. Farewell, Your Majesty. General Zelius, wait! Please! Does the Apostle know anything about this war with the Lagoos? It's just very hard to, for me to believe. Is this war truly the will of the Apostle? That is not for me to answer, Your Majesty. Then at least tell me this. Is the Apostle safe? Excuse me, I must go. General. Cool. After Alencia's meeting with Valtome, the Crimean royal knights returned to the capital of Melior, leaving the border villages between Crimea and Gallia completely undefended. The Benyan Central Army crosses the border once more, but Crimea makes no move to march against it. Valtome sees this inaction as a sign of Crimea's capitulation to Benyan's demands. The Benyan forces occupy the Crimean castles and forts on the border with Gallia and prepare to launch their attack. The Laguz alliance finally makes its way back to Gallia, but word of Benyan's approach allows them no time for rest. The news that Gallia's ally Crimea has allowed Benyan to travel through its lands comes as a great blow to the Laguz alliance. Okay. Chapter 10, The Heart of Crimea. Castle Gallia. According to our scouts, the enemy has split into two forces. One is east of the Earth's Mountains. The other is approaching from the north by crossing through Crimea. So they plan on flanking Gallia from the north and east. If you don't stop them, this is going to hurt. Agreed. What is the Crimean army doing? From what the scouts have said, nothing at all. I'm guessing they're waiting to see how things pan out. Crimea let Banyan pass without a fight? What about their alliance with Gallia? It's not that simple, Skrimir. Banyan is Crimea, Crimea's uh, suzerain state. It's difficult for Crimea to refuse Banyan's demands. A Suzo what? Someone explain to me what that means. Hmm, how can I explain? Alright, how's this? Banyan still holds political power over countries that want independence from them. Anything you want to add, Ike? Don't look at me. I've always thought the whole idea was ridiculous. Never mind what it means. Has Crimea broken its treaty with us? Not as such. I didn't say it was right, just that it was complicated. It's not complicated at all. Crimea has betrayed Gallia. We cannot let this pass. How dare! Control yourself, Skrimir. We are acting like a fool. My apologies, Your Majesty. It is just... I doubt Crimea has sided with Benyon. Queen Alencia is very clever, and I will not stop I will not stop trusting her judgment just yet. She most likely allowed the Imperial Army to pass through her lands in order to avoid a slaughter. Who is this Bjork Queen who warrants so much trust? Please enlighten us. She is a delightful woman, both in manner and in reign. Her late father, King Raymond, and I forged an alliance between Bjork and Laguz. We sought to bring our peoples together. She has taken her father's ideals as her own and strives to create a country where anyone, Bjork or Laguz, can live free and in peace. How times have changed. I never could have dreamed of a time where such a Bjork ruler would exist. I must admit, I still have doubts. I don't blame you, my brother. Change has been slow, but the circle of acceptance in Tellius has been widening. As you can see, both Leanne and I have many Bjork friends. Queen Alencia of Crimea is one of them. Both the king and Raisin speak well of this woman. 
Is she truly so special? She truly is. But right now, that's besides the point. The most important thing is, Alencia will never betray her allies in Gallia. I couldn't agree more. We can trust her. Alright, let's assume for now that Crimea will not aid the Empire in any military fashion during this conflict. Hawk King, let's hear your thoughts. Well, if Crimea won't make a move, then I see no reason to wait until the Empire reaches Gallia. I prefer to take an army up north and mess this up for good. Or end this mess for good. Very well. Ike, do the Grove Mercenaries have anything to add? I agree with Tabarn's idea. We should strike while the, the army is split in half. I'm pretty sure that Z General Zelgus will be there, though. We'd better be careful. Very well. Hawk King, may I ask that your forces protect the eastern border? While they do that, I would like you to lead our strike force to the northern border. Take Renolf with you as well. Send me too, your majesty. Please, let me reclaim my honor. I beg you. I second that, your majesty. Skrimir is perfect for this mission. Renolf? Very well. Will you look after him, Hawk King? Sure, I can handle him. He's easier to keep under control than you are, Lion King. <laughs> He's all yours then. Now, everyone, prepare to leave before daybreak. We are all depending on you. Alright. Info! Uh, don't have my information up. Ooh, quick. Don't think I'm missing anything important, of course. Yeah, so this is the only thing. Uh, there's no real hidden items, just a coin on the map, so we don't really have anything to worry about here. Pretty much, it's just another chapter. Gifka! Welcome back, you two. Gifka, apologies for worrying you. You persevered through many, di many difficult battles. We are glad to have you back in one piece. Each and every soldier in the army helped me. I couldn't do anything by myself. Alone, I was powerless. That's good. If that's what you learned from this campaign, then it wasn't a wasted effort for Gallia. Good work, Renolf. Thank you, sir. Scrimere, come here. I have something from the king. What's the, what is this? It's a Satori sign. It's said to bring out the hidden power of the Lagoos. Amazing! Here, it's yours. Renolf, you should take it. What? Why? The king said it was for you. Yes, but you've been looking after me. It's a sign of my appreciation. Scrimere. Very well, Renolf. This is yours to keep. Alright, thank you, sir. Skrimir, you reply to his thanks. Um, yes. You're welcome. I am grateful for your continued support. Of course, General. Another Satori sign that we don't need. Alright, so we get to upgrade our character's bonds even more. Uh, which only Ike and Gaytree actually increase theirs. Um, which, again, I may be cutting their ties anyways. We'll see. I will do those last. Let's take a look at the shop real quick. Uh, nothing of importance. A lot of Olivia grass, which we don't need, not, not, nor can we buy at this moment. Uh, get rid of the crossbow. So I'm going to use Lagoo's level 30 and higher. Renolf's the closest at 26. Although we do have uh, Janif and Oki. Janif's level 29. But again, I don't really plan on using them, not right now at least, so it doesn't really matter. They can get a level later, and then use it later. Miss! Uh, 31, so she's fine as is. So Gaytree just leveled up. Very good looking overall, level 16. Needs more weapons if we're going to keep using him. Uh, Shinnon needs a new steel bow, but he's very close to his next promotion as well. Let's see. Take a steel bow out, there you go. So I'm definitely going to need him. Uh, Rolf's here as well. Could be a little bit more defensive, but overall it's pretty good as well. It's actually turning out to be worth training him. It's taken a while, but it's definitely worth it. He's turning out really good. Uh, Nephany, overall pretty strong still as well. I need another Iron Great Lance or another Lance in general. I'll take a steel, I suppose. Although, my lack of strength is a little bit worrisome here. Eh, it's just one damage, it's okay. Uh, Braum. 10 XP away from the next, next level. I could probably try and train his sword and see if he can get that up. Do we, we don't have a discipline with this group, right? We do not. Right, we do not. As far as I remember. Yeah, we do not. Okay, so 
If we could get a discipline, that would have been great. I don't think there was a chance to, though. Unless I got it from, uh, Ilyana. But that's okay. Totally fine. Um, the only reason is because, uh, I have a lot of Axe users. So, if Braum stays an Axe user, then we'll, we won't have enough strong axes to go around and I don't have any sword users so if I could train him with the sword that would actually be really nice um, I will buy him a sword we'll use that this chapter um, Har is here as well he's okay though Heather Titania mm, Racing okay. okay so that's pretty much gonna do it All right here that like, Oscar actually can go and switch with Nephi get the steel lance And that's pretty much it. Okay, so get rid of these two. There you go. How much EXP do we have? We have 14.1k. We could give Nephany some bonus EXP. Maybe just use a Master Crown on her. I have one Master Crown right now, so that's interesting. I would think I would have had more at this point, but we do not. I might as well just let him get the master or the promotion on his own. Same thing with Titania if, she, if I keep using her as well. So yeah, Nephany would probably be a solid option. I mean, we have HP, strength, luck, and defense pretty much to still increase with bony XP, and then promote her. I could probably do a couple levels. Or we can wait can wait a little longer. Maybe waiting's a little little longer is best. I think I'll wait still. So. We didn't have any other skills, right? No, we didn't. We have a blossom though. Um I mean I could give it oh no I can't, because it's twenty. Never mind. I mean I could if I take out a death, but eh, really Rolf really doesn't need that extra stuff uh, stats. I could give it a heather, get her one good level, perhaps. Let's do that. That'll be quite interesting. And then I have an extra shade now, so we can give that shade. I might as well just give it to Rolf then. For now, for this chapter at least. All right, cool. Um, I didn't need weapons, right? I think we were fine. Oh, gate tree. Uh, we'll we'll see how many units we can deploy first. I may use Janeth and Oki on this chapter because of the fact that we do need to rush uh, towards Benyon forces really quickly. So I think I also will probably need gate tree as well in the end. I'm using a lot of javelins and lances in general. Maybe we should use a hand axe too. Um, as far as supports, do I want Ike to stay with Gaytree? I don't know. To be honest. I guess it's fine. Cause I really don't know if I should partner up with. I like to partner like with Renault just because they're buddies, but I think it doesn't really matter. So you know what? Totally fine. Let's just do that. The avoidability is increased even more, and we can go. And like I said, I could cancel it later. Insects of Benyon, we'll show you the power of the Beast Tribe. Burek scum, for the raising of our homes, we'll make you wish you'd never been born. Filthy subhumans, this war ends now. Prepare yourselves. The Burek army is approaching from the hill to the left. That flag, it's the Crimean army. Crimea intends to side with the Empire after all. Valencia, what are you doing? Wee hee hee, finally they see the light and coming to fight with us. Excellent. 
took them long enough. I suppose when you have the brain of a gnat, these things take some time to sink in. I am Queen Alencia of Crimea. I have a message for the commanders of both armies. I am here to declare the will of Crimea and its people. Crimea has been ruled under the ideals of peace and equality since the reign of my father, King Raymond. As such, I cannot and will not allow you to spill blood upon our land. Therefore, I demand that both the Laguz Alliance and the Imperial Army leave Crimea at once. Withdraw our troops? You foolish girl. We will not be ordered around by the proclamations of a peasant like you. Puppet rulers such as yourself should stay inside their pretty castles and play dress-up. Banyan's patience has worn out. After we finish slaughtering the subhumans, we'll be coming for you and Melior. Commander of the Goose Alliance, how do you respond? Hmm, <laughs> you have some serious guts jumping into the middle of a battlefield all by yourself, but your high and mighty beliefs don't change the fact that Banyan must answer for its crimes. Step aside. Very well, I've heard from both commanders. Then... This is Crimea's answer. We will not sway from our ideals. My countrymen stand united. We will not use force, but we are w willing to do whatever it takes to end this here and now. What? Have you lost your mind? Like, <laughs> I thought you were the craziest Bjork I had ever met. But you have some serious competition. Crimea's queen is one tough woman, your, ma your majesty. I like your style. Skrmir. I can't let such a pretty woman down. Let's get out of here. Of course, the Beast Tribe will not use our claws against unarmed Bjork. Soldiers, back to the forest. Thank you, King Tabarn. This is only temporary. The war between the Laguz Alliance and Banyan isn't finished yet. Yes, I understand that. Even so, I want you all to know where Crimea stands in this. Hey, you and I should get together and chat sometime. I'll be seeing you again soon. General Zelgius, what are your orders? Shall we launch an attack? No. We will withdraw. Are you certain, General? Could you cast aside your weapon while surrounded by armed soldiers? I don't know. Sir. No. Probably not. Queen Alencia has done something that even I would be hard-pressed to do. For that, we must show our respect. Stop this instant! Wait! Where do you think you're going? Attack those mangy beasts! Please forgive my audacity. However, we are withdrawing. Every battle ebbs and flows. To go against these tides is unwise. We understand, Senator. You self-righteous fool. You understand something else? Once we are through with this battle... I don't want to go back yet. Do we, do we have time to talk to Alencia? It has been a long time since we last saw the Queen. We should at least say hello. Sure, sounds great to me. Uh, there's probably not much time for small talk, but we'll see. Soldiers! Kill the Queen of Crimea! That girl's a traitor to Benyon! Well, this isn't good. The Imperial Army is on the move. They're after Queen Alencia. So much for Imperial honor. Girl mercenaries, looks like we have our old job back again. Protect Queen Alencia. I knew it. Follow me, my knights. We shall protect her majesty. Kill every living thing that stands in our way. Show them that I, no, the Senate, controls this pathetic land. Of course, Senator Valtome. I'd be happy to kill the wrench. Sergey. That's our boss, Sergey. He is a dangerous one, though. Alright, so we get 14 units. Uh, including the flyers, we can actually deploy every single person. Perfect. Alright, so if we see here, um, Sergey is a bow paladin. And he is really strong, almost max stats. Uh, he also comes with a silver bow, which A is really good against Alencia, and B, he is a bow paladin. So he has range and he has movement, nine movement to be exact. Uh, I don't think he has skills though, so that's good. So we need to get there as soon as possible, because if he or any of the other archers in this area shoot down Alencia, we lose. Automatic game over. Oop, not yet. So Alencia is here. She will be armed. No, I don't think she's armed right now. So I don't think she will be armed later. Um, but we need to get there as soon as possible. We still have Joffrey here as well. As you guys can see, he is pretty strong. So he should be able to assist us in a little bit. Uh, Kieran also there. 
Marcia as well. Good thing I gave them uh, stronger weapons, that way they can uh, fight more efficiently. Makalov gets an automatic sword and Devdon is no longer there. And Astra is here as well. Alright, so over here we have a bunch of guys. Uh, nothing too special, but we do have a purge. One purge to deal with. So magic is going to come into play for sure. Uh, as far as the this bottom side is concerned, I will use Gaytree, yeah, Gaytree, Brom and Nephany to take care of these guys. Probably with Titania and Har, perhaps. Maybe Har can go up, actually. So maybe the archers will be here. I'll have Gaytree, Ike, and my other mobile units go up. That way they can get to Alencia as soon as possible. Same thing with the flyers, they'll go up as well. Even though they're susceptible to archers, I don't really need them. So if they end up dying on this chapter, it's not too important to me. But we'll see. We'll see how things go. But I think we're good here. So let's get started. Alright, let's go. as far as we could so let's now use these guys I forgot to give Brahma sword <laughs> big mistake okay that was something that I needed to do I totally forgot I'm retarded all right we still can't double with Rolf um, unfortunately these guys are all gonna be just as fast as us going the rest of the game so even if we were to give him a speed wing still probably wouldn't be able to double very unfortunate that's okay uh, let's see if Shinon can maybe take out... Yeah, let's see if he can take out this one. Or at least wound him. There we go. Is Brahmi able to kill him? I don't think so. Uh, lower hit rate. We, we have hit rate, right? Yeah, a little bit with Nephany. So, Nephany kills this one. Which is not the best idea since I'm not at my best best. It is an o if it eats forward ability though, so it's not too bad. We could probably use range then. Ah, not strong enough still too. Titania, can you assist us? Hits, please. Thank you. Now Nifany can kill. Put Braum there. Uh, we should, we should be okay. I missed. Of course I missed. Wow, Braum. Seriously, what the heck? I am not strong enough with Rolf to kill this guy. That's terrible. Um. Do not have shade with you, so I need. If I put Rolf in front, he probably shouldn't be attacked, right? If that's how shade works. I couldn't even damage, anyways. Um, wow, that's concerning. Okay, I guess I will have to use Renolf then. I'll have to transform him here, and then he will take that spot. Wow, that's sad. Brom, you had one job, and you, you failed <laughs> miserably. All right. So I'm going to I'm going to make sure Renolf does not take any damage. So I will use Rolf first. Oh. Okay, he got a crit, so they actually didn't matter. More strength, no speed though. Terrible. Um, 
Okay, well that being said, I guess I could put you right here then. And it works out. Alright. Very well. So I just need to give Heather one steal this map. That's all she needs. And she'll level up. So I wonder when that will come. Again, even as half transform, Renolf is still very useful. Got yeah, all the paladins. Even attracting the purge, perfect. So, even if my allies die, they this uh, they'll, they'll still come back. The Grinius, that is. But um, if Valencia dies, then yeah, it's game over. So, gotta watch out for that. Hopefully, the Crimean Knights will do a lot more work than they have been in the past few chapters we played with them. Cause, man, they really suck. They don't have to kill, they just have to really just like all chip in. Everyone just needs to hit here and there. That's all they need to do. And obviously, of course, protect Valencia. General Zelgus, Senator Valtomi is about to run down the Queen of Cramia. That useless parasite attacking an unarmed woman. This is beneath even him. The Cramian army and part of the Laguz Alliance have joined battle in order to rescue the Queen. They are fighting Senator Valtomi. Shall we assist the Senator? Prepare to leave. We are not fighting. But General, would that mean... That would mean that we abandon Duke Colbert's force. I will take all responsibility for this. Make my command clear to all of the men. I will not accept more units during this fight. Alright. Uh, let's see, what else? What can we do here? So we just gotta keep this wall up. I wish these paladins were... See, if... If I didn't have to deal with Rolf, you know, the Paladins probably would have moved here. You know, a couple more spaces in, attack Shin on with his Provoke, and then move back like right here. They'd be a little bit closer for me to attack, but they're not that close, so it's going to be a little bit more difficult to hit them hard. Both Brom and Nephany are going down, or Brom's already down. And Nephany's going down, so not very uh, good in that regard. Disarm him, please. It's okay. Uh, maybe Shinon can actually go right here. Can't kill this guy. I get a crit. Yeah, I figured. But he should run and heal then, huh? Most likely. Well, we're all spells coming in handy. It's gotten two criticals now in a row. Very interestingly enough. I 
we'll continue to use Renolf in the front. Um, and you need to get missed out of here, though. So, in fact, maybe I'll half shift again and I'll just shove her across for now. Alright, Ike and company, let's get in there. Perfect kill. I have confidence that Ike will not get hit very easily. And of course, with Gaytree's support, he should get even more. Looks like I do have to use this. Titania is at her worst, which is not good. So she won't be very useful. So I guess still Polak's guy is pretty hefty though. So maybe I'll have her go like right here. danger and even you guys can continue to fly up <coughs> I missed wow of course uh, okay. Good. I'm glad that they attacked Har. Because he is very defensive. And most likely will hit them. <coughs> Mac Cloud's gonna die. I wonder if the weakened one will run, or will he attack Renolf and die? Let's find out. He is going to run. Oh no, a bishop! Oh, wow, look at that dodge. He even got a critical with his staff, that's hilarious. Ooh, nice dodge, survivor. For every paladin that actually survives, that's actually really good. Because uh, they will come in handy for blocking Alencia from dying. And for every knight that does survive, I do get bonus CXP. So very useful. Alright, so he's getting healed. Purge is going to fire again. Attacking Braum this time. These generals have not moved. I wonder if they will or won't. Nor the paladins. They're probably stationary until we get there. Uh, so this is one problem with Joffrey, is he is going to use our Brave Lance up. Very unfortunate, but that's okay. Again, Lancia's survival is the biggest concern here. I honestly don't care if he uses the Brave Lance up too much. As long as we all survive. Going. You're gonna get killed, dude. Hey, that was my kill, by the way. I'm taking my kills for it, man. Ooh, a couple more paladins spawned. Okay. Not too good. I don't want them here. Alright.
Titanium levels up. Level 19. Strength and speed. Alright. I like this I like the speed, that's nice. Kill this. Oop! Ike, I won't let anything happen to you. So survive, no matter what, okay? I won't die here. I always keep my promises. I was gonna say, uh, you can kill this guy, but you can't even double him. Here, use this. You may get to kill someone else. And then I can kill the paladin. Har. Um. Perhaps I can. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, nine. Okay, so, can't do that. What I could do is maybe draw in the paladins in the back. Because they all have swords, so they shouldn't do too, too much damage. Oh, they do have steel blades, though. 33 attack. So they will do 7 damage to me no matter what. And I am at my worst, so I won't be dodging either. Interesting. Maybe stay out of range of the magic, then. One, two, three, six. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six. So, right next to this tree. Okay, if I go like right here, I'll be out of range, but then I won't be in range of the paladins. So I do have to go in the range of the first guy at least. Okay, well, I'll go right here. One speed. Wow, Ike, you're amazing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, right, so maximum range is where Janif could go. 17 speed. These guys will not be doubled. So actually, yeah, that's perfectly fine, in fact. Uh, you are stronger, right? Yeah. That's okay. If we do that, they should go and be fine. Over here, we're not exactly fine. I don't like the way these guys are just sitting here. There is a worm slayer. Ooh, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I am out right. Ooh, didn't see that coming. Uh, I don't think any of you guys have hammers, right? So it could be dangerous. Kill him. Nice. I wish she dodged, but that's okay. I don't think she'll die. I'm a little too strong for that. And I'm leveling up right now. Okay. I am going down though, so it's not good. Do you need a hit here? 
Disarm would have been nice. Level up for Braum as well. Another superb level. Thank you very much. Nice, nice, nice. And then you here. So we can use crossbow. Crit. He got adept, so he gets the kill. Um, I actually wanted Heather to get that kill, but that's okay. Heather just be around for moral support, I suppose. <laughs> I totally forgot I left that guy alive. That's okay. All things all things considered, we're still pretty good. And there goes a bishop, and then the other one's probably going to be attacked right here as well. Oh, nope, he's running. And now this guy's drawing in these paladins, which I did not want him to do. I wanted them to actually attack me, so there we go. It's perfect. Look, even untransformed, Oki and Jaff are just way overpowered. <laughs> they can't get hit, and they do damage as well. Good job, Nephany. Keep going. Good job, good job. I did draw one, so that's good. Oh, hello. <laughs> this bishop's charging us. Attacking Renault. This guy's healing. Okay, we can kill this bishop too. It's good. And I thought purge attacks hard because because he could do a lot of damage. Just fine. It's funny how how many units are required to kill one soldier. Like, this is ridiculous. Come on, guys. <laughs> Crazy. Look how many units are needed to kill one guy. The entire Crimean army. God, more paladins. What the hell? Okay. this one. Yeah, could you kill this one? Bishop. Can't kill this guy, but that's okay. Uh, I did my job, so I just need to heal. I'll do you last. Let's see. What's over here? Um, Jinan, can you kill this one again? Please. Thank you. Good job, good job. It's very useful. Can Brawl kill him? Yes, we can. It's actually really good. Disarm. Darn it. Come on, Brom, disarm these guys for me so I can steal their weapons or something. Can we kill by chance? No, not enough. Therefore, I gotta use supports. Okay, uh. Bu -bu 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 -bu. So, same thing, Renolf is going to detrance. 
and then trans, and heal. Oh. And give me your vulnerary. And heal. <laughs> there we go. And if he's gonna get healed. attack this guy and then Heather can get the kill perfect and this will level Heather up with Blossom she should get a really decent level hells yeah well kind of that magic is actually not a stat for me so I really wish she got strength because again Apparently strength the thing the trigger in this uh, game for stealing. And since she didn't get any, she's not gonna be able to steal hit the heaviest weapons. But that's okay. It was a good level regardless. Over here, um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And then Har. Okay, so Har, you're just gonna heal. There goes Astrid. <laughs> I won't be broken. Not yet. Astrid, get back now. Don't waste your life like this. Forgive me. I still can't believe that one soldier's still alive. That, that's unbelievable. Nice dodge. Every dodge matters. that pollen going like that. Very weird. He's probably going to whack and then run away like all the way in the back, huh? Yep. Ouchie. Ouchie. None of these guys seem interested in moving, so we should be fine. Yep. Alright, so Joffrey goes and kills the soldier finally. Probably using his Brave Lance too, so that was a huge waste. Jennifer and Oki should transform this turn, I believe. And with their help, we should be able to move in towards the boss. Yes, they can. Okay, cool. That's perfect. These generals are pretty hefty though. It's gonna take a bit to actually knock them down. They're strong. <laughs> Holy crap. Okay, so I'm gonna heal here. And I'm gonna move Brom to the top spot. Good 
Good dodge. Not enough to kill the guy. But I could use Rolf, perhaps. Nah, you know, that's... Nah. That's okay. So I'm gonna use my jab in this turn, because there's this guy in the back. So I'm gonna wait here. So I'm gonna use this again. I forgot, I don't have shade. That's okay, I shouldn't be targeted. Because they shouldn't... Oh no, I have shade, right? Yeah, I have shade. You know, that's fine. I, I shouldn't be targeted, so I should be fine. Okay. Um, over here, let's see. Uh, there is an archer coming in. What's this here? 147. He has at his best. So even if I transform with Jen Alf, he's going to get hit. So we do need to watch out for that. I'm going to kill this guy outright. Sweet. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I can go right here. I mean, I should be durable enough with Gaytree to take on a lot of these guys. I'll keep Ike in the back as much as I can. That's a killing edge, I just realized. Holy crap. So now that I've attacked these guys, they are moving, so that could be a problem. Good, the paladin moved in front. <laughs> that would have been a huge problem. Because there's still one more paladin, and the bishop's going to use his purge too. I'm surprised this guy went after Ike, considering he can shoot the birds. Very weird. Very weird. No crit for you, sucker. Hey, you got counter too. It's pretty funny. All right, Gate Tree, go to work. Hopefully, a couple of these guys move in. No, just the usual guys. Okay, and Chinon provoke the purge. Which doesn't really matter. Oh, Wyverns are moving a little bit. Although they moved in a weird fashion. Don't know what they're doing. Joffrey, why didn't you attack? What are you guys doing? What the hell are they? 
Why are they not attacking? There's an archer that can shoot Alencia right now. Are you stupid? <laughs> what are they doing? What the hell? Look, Joffrey can destroy this guy for me. Why didn't he attack? Look, Alencia is right in range to die. What the hell? Are you guys dumb or what? Unbelievable. Heck, you didn't even heal me. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Just out of range. My goodness. My goodness. This guy has a hammer. 114. Oof. If he hits me, that's gonna hurt, so maybe I should stay out of range. Dang, I can't even kill this guy? What the hell? Alright, I can kill this guy. How interesting is that? Make him go back and heal, I suppose. Maybe I can kill this guy. Ay, ay, ay. Hit rates, man. Alright, down here. One damage short from using Heather. Did I just get the kill with Rolf? Probably. Level, holy crap. All 
as expected. You were provoked, sir. I figured they'd go after Titania even if she was in the back, which is good, because they move uh, them down and use all their movement up to go after her. Let's see if these crimey knights can actually do anything to these guys. One damage. <laughs> The archer. He's the biggest threat, obviously. So hopefully they kill him first. Bowgun guy. Pshing! No damage, sucker. Still need to watch out for the boss, because again, he can still one shot everybody. Or uh, Alencia. Grave Lancing, the archer didn't kill him. Kieran goes for the kill. I hope Alencia does not move up at all. Because if she does, that's not going to be good. The closer she gets, the more scary it becomes. Bishop, why don't you just heal somebody? You're never going to use your physic up. I don't know why some of these guys move up and they don't attack. So they're just du as dumb as ever. It's pretty stupid. Alright, we're almost there. So Heather can actually steal that men, Which will be very useful for us. If I could make this guy drop his short spear, we can actually steal that too. Disarm him. No! Why can't we disarm him? No, try again. <laughs> try again. I want that. Disarm him. No! Dude! You have the skill for a reason. up here first. Let's see. Gotta make sure the wyverns die. This guy is dead. Janet, come down here. You can kill this guy for me. Kill this one. Perfect. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Can't kill the guy, really? Ike's amazing. Okay, with that in mind, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So the boss is right here, so I need to go above and fight this general up here. And this should draw him in. Of course I missed. My goodness. Just fine. It doesn't matter. This general doesn't matter. It does not play a part. Uh, there is this hammer guy. I totally forgot I needed to kill him. So that actually, that's really bad. I, I totally forgot he was here. Oh, 
Uh, okay. Uh, I guess I'm going to have just to hope that he doesn't hit. He is at his best. He's going to hit me. Unless he goes after someone else who is weaker. Which would be preferable. I highly doubt that's going to be the case, though. See what happens. I mean, the other units are weaker than Gaytree, so they. Oh! Healing mode takes the vulnerability, so he's. Okay, we're good on that department. Alright, Lincey's squad should be busy with these guys, so. Oh, hello. Man, they really hate Renolf. Everyone wants to kill him. Alright, here's the boss. Fools! How dare you fight my master! He is Senator Valtomi, Duke of Colbert. Die in his name. This is great that this guy moved up now. Because um, now we can kill him. Oh, nice hit, too. And then, uh, yeah. And then we can end this chapter. And as you guys can see, I put Olki in range, even though he's a bird and susceptible to archers. Because I knew that he wouldn't die. Um, Again, Oki and Jeff are way too strong. So they were perfect for this moment here. Alright. Joffrey goes out and kills the Paladin. Perfect. Cool. Makalov still being a loser. They're just slowly chipping out the knights, huh? Alright. Can we kill the boss guaranteed? Uh, 16. Should be able to hit. Almost! How's oh, a physic? Ooh, I'd like to get that, too. Anything else I can steal? Not really, right? Unless I disarm this guy somehow, which I... Oh, I could reach him. Disarm him! Come on! Oh, you suck, Brom. You suck. Okay. So let's steal the men. That's really nice. Alright, so now we're just getting EXP before we finish this chapter up. In fact, there is a clear bonus of 10 turns, so we could still get that. You guys should be able to kill these two, right? If not, Renolf's there as well. <laughs> short. It's totally fine. No one else here. That being said, I might be able to get the Physic if we don't end up killing that Bishop. Maybe. Let's see. We'll see how the Crimeans move.
Oh, Commander, our force is taking heavy losses. Defeat is imminent. Even our strike force cannot keep the enemy at bay. Please, you must escape. I've been defeated? Me? By a worthless rabble like this? Ugh, oh, blast that Zelgius. How dare he not assist me? I'll have his pompous head for this. But for a second, I thought reinforcements were going to show up. That would have been really bad. Alright. Can Titania hit? Yes, in fact, wait, I did 16, right? I did. Perfect kill. So Titania can chip, and then I can kill. Perfect! Lovely. We are under the direct orders of Senator Valtoni. His words carry the weight of the entire Senate. Mercenaries, you know how war works. You know that Banyan can pay. Save your breath! The Grell mercenaries choose our employers. All the wealth in the world and all the wealth in the Senate couldn't buy us. Lay down your bow and surrender. What? Wretched fool. You'll rot in the ground next to that treacherous girl. Goodbye, loser. Senator Voltsome. Ike levels up again. One HP. Wow, you are so freaking good. I love it. Amazing. It's just gave me flashbacks of my my Path of Radiance run. Love it. Uh, wait, was I strong enough to kill you? I was. Perfect. Okay, cool. Goodbye. Because of that, the Kranian Knights... Oh, sh oh, wow, that's crazy. I will leave that guy alive. He should be in heal mode. I just need to keep Geekry away. So we should be able to get Heather up there and perhaps be able to steal that Physic. We'll see. Unless the Crimean Knights want to kill him outright, which would be unfortunate. He's attacking Har? What the heck? You crazy? Crazy? Alright, Crimean, stay put. Do not attack this bishop, please. Must protect Alencia, right? Attack the general. Only the general. <laughs> Alright, cool. Alright, let's shove her that way. I really thought this map was a uh, uh, kill the boss chapter, but I guess not. Sweet, we got a physics staff. Can you guys believe it? That's superb. Uh, you won't kill me, so yeah, goodbye. This guy is hella strong, but we can't kill him this turn. And can Har reach? Yes, we can. Can we kill him? Yes, we can. We're just enough to. Perfect. Alright, what a successful chapter. Took a while, but we did it. And we got a physics staff! Yes! It's gonna be very useful. Phew! Banyan's finally given up. That took some doing. Tell me about it. But we did we get but we did get some good information out of all of this. Now we know for certain that there are serious leadership problems in the Imperial Army. I'm glad General Zelgius was honorable enough to withdraw. 
if the full strength of the two armies had clashed, Alencia's effort would have been wasted. Sir Ike, Sir Renolf, thank you for helping us save Queen Alencia. Joffrey, I'm really surprised that you let Alencia do such a dangerous thing. You must be more relaxed these days. It wasn't easy for me, as you can guess, but I, guess, but I can never really say no to Queen Alencia. What choice did we have anyway? You didn't have any, and you, you did, and you all did what needed to be done. I'm really impressed. Crimea has become quite strong. Don't talk like such a stranger. The Grail Mercenaries are also from Crimea. You're part of that strength. True. I'm very proud of my homeland. Let's go see Her Majesty. You do have time to speak with her, right? Of course. I shall now dispense punishment for disobeying my orders. General Zellius, do you have anything to say? I will hear your pleas now. I am prepared to face the consequences of my actions. Quite an admirable sentiment, General. Although, I imagine you should have thought about the consequences before you abandoned your allies. Now, on your knees, it's time for your execution. Goodbye, General Zellius. What, Senator? I must ask you to reconsider. To execute a man of General Zelkis' caliber without a trial? It's madness. It's horrible. Lavelle, are you questioning a senator? A senator holds the right to punish a prisoner however he sees fit. Oh, I'll make sure to tell our people that the generals cut down in battle after felling hundreds of subhumans. That way, the people will not trouble themselves over details I couldn't possibly understand. You would bury the truth? Do you think the apostle is easily fooled by your lies? Oh, I sincerely doubt that Apostle will ever get to hear them. Alright, I've waited long enough. Your way is over as well, Zelgius. Execute him. Yeah, you're going to order a, a stupid knight. Not even a general. You're going to order a knight to do it. <laughs> Don't worry, Zelgius. I'll make sure that your lands are looked after. They'll be mine, of course. <laughs> what? Silence! Valtome, all soldiers loyal to Banyan are to stand down immediately. Hello, Senator Valtome. You! You're one of the Holy Guards! The Apostle will be here shortly. Soldiers, sheathe your weapons and kneel before the Apostle. What? No, it's impossible! Ah, it's her! There's no doubt about it! It's the Apostle! The Apostle is here! My soldiers, I apologize for my sudden disappearance. I am here today to explain things, and to bring you news from home that is of utmost importance. My soldiers, listen to me carefully. I never wished for this war. It was started by those who wanted me dead. It was spurred on by the desire to rule Benyon for themselves. This war was the work of the Senate and was organized by Vice Minister Lacan of Gatos. The Senate wished upon harm or wished harm upon the Apostle? No, impossible. How can that be? Lies. She lies. Do not be tricked, proud soldiers of Benyon. She is not the true Apostle. Ah, I see. Then are we not the real Holy Guards? Is that what you are trying to say? No, this is a farce. You cannot trick us. You are using a fake Apostle to disable the Senate and take over Benyon. Men, we must act. That foul suffering is their leader. The fact that he's been put in chains is our proof. I will not allow you to disgrace my master's good name. One more syllable and I shall snap your, your neck, Valtome. Apostle, words cannot express how good it is to see you alive and well. We have been waiting for your return. Thank you, General Zelgius. You and I have much to discuss. Yay! And that is it. Oh my god. That was a good one. Alright. So, successful chapter again. Again, like I said, there was no hidden... Uh... Did I finish in 10 turns? I did, right? <laughs> I think I did. I didn't even think about that when I was trying to steal that physic. I believe that was 10 turns. So, we should have gotten the bonus XP... Oh no, you know what? I didn't finish because uh, actually it says before turn 10. So, oops, my bad. That's okay. You know, I don't even care about the bonus EXP. I got a physics app out of that. That's even more important. So, all good. 
But that's it for now. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, hit the like button, comment down below your thought, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Next up, we have Just Cause. It's a bridge chapter. Um, so this will be uh, a little bit more difficult. I will not lie. Um, this chapter may prove to be the most difficult in a few past few. But we'll see. We'll see how things go. But that's it for now. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys have a great day. And I'll see you guys in the next one for Just Cause. Bye-bye.